single horrible possibility runs through your mind. He would have been totally Parents fearing the worst after their autistic son didn't show up to school tonight. The school district admits it was their fault. Welcome to Coin News at 530, everybody. I'm Dan Tilkin. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Now, the district says the bus driver didn't notice the student was left behind on that bus. Carla Castaño went to the Albany School District to find out how they're making sure this does not happen again. We're very lucky that he's still here. We're very lucky that he came home. This nine-year-old's parents feared the worst when the school called, saying their son's life wasn't there. You think you might never see him again. It's... It's very, very terrifying. The autistic third grader's parents had trusted him to the care of the school bus driver. The school is calling you and telling you, you know, saying we don't have your son, is he coming to school? And when you put him on the bus and, you know, two hours prior to that, then, uh, it's 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 very it's very shocking. While the other five special needs kids got off the school bus Tuesday morning and went inside Timber Ridge School, nine year old life stayed on the bus and the driver didn't notice. Here at the bus barn where life was left all alone on the school bus for about an hour, I've learned that the bus driver also left the bus doors wide open while life was on there. Now life's parents are extremely upset about this because I've learned that the train tracks are are just up the road about a block and life loves trains. I headed to the school superintendent's office to get answers. What kind of procedures are you taking to make sure something like this doesn't happen again? How will you reassure parents? Well, I know I was at the bus garage yesterday talking to the transportation supervisor and she was about to have a meeting with her drivers to make sure that they reviewed their procedures and their safety checklists. The Greater Albany Public School District Superintendent also tells me they will be increasing training for bus drivers and looking into installing audible devices in the back of the buses to make sure drivers check the seats. To make sure that they have taken all those proper steps. Meanwhile, the school district is investigating and the driver is on paid administrative leave, but the boy's parents don't feel that's enough in light of what could have happened. I think when I put him on the bus that that may have been the last time I ever saw him. In Albany, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News.